the H-2A program was a part of the Immigration Reform and Control Act, or IRCA as it's commonly known, that was enacted in 1986. As a part of IRCA, uh, Congress was debating the issue of illegal immigration. Uh, they realized that there, was, there were large numbers of illegal immigrants uh, participating in agricultural employment. Uh, as a part of that bill, they gave amnesty to those who were present and working in agriculture at that point in time. As I recall, there was about 1.4 million, I think, workers who got amnesty. The federal H-2A program allows agricultural employers to recruit foreign workers to live and work in the U.S. on a temporary guest worker visa. Pues para no venirse de uno de indocumentado, pues, ¿verdad? Y, y se decía que pues, este, estaba más bien protegido uno y, y no, no corre peligros en pasar el, este, de, en el desierto o en el río. Por eso pues, decide uno o decidí yo venir mejor con, con pasaporte y visa para pasar por la puerta. And there are thousands that want to come here, again, for economic reasons. Uh, to do so on a visa rather than sneaking across the desert is a, is a much preferable way. Uh, I think uh, that's one thing that our membership has, uh, believes in. We believe in immigration control. We believe that workers ought to be able to legally enter the country. So they come across the border on an H-2A visa. They have a guaranteed contract. They know they're going to be living in an approved house. I know they have the support system of the bilingual staff of the association and also the government support agencies that work with us here at North Carolina Growers. And we really think it's a better way, actually, for the workers and us, too. It's a, it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. We're guaranteed that we're going to have a legal workforce, and the workers have this guaranteed wage and benefit package and the, uh, their legal status while they're working here. On paper, of course, the contract lists what should be provided. It, it mirrors, in a lot of ways, it mirrors the language of the federal regulations of the H-2A program. But that does not mirror reality in many cases. Alice Tejada is a lawyer with Legal Services of North Carolina, which represents farm workers. Because they receive federal funding, they can only represent farm workers with legal status, such as H-2A workers. They do have legal status, however their legal status is derived from one employer and when that employer, for whatever whimsical reason, does not want that person to be uh, here anymore, they, that person will get deported because the visa um, is really the employer. The employer has all of the power. Uh, we have a three-quarter guarantee, which means that the workers will, we will pay the workers three-fourths of the hours in the contract, regardless of whether they work them or not. The three-quarter guarantee sounds nice in theory. What happens in reality is that it's calculated over the entire contract period, not week by week. When I uh, looked into how often those extra checks are actually made, I found out that it's very rare. Even uh, during the hurricane season after the flooding, um, Stan Uri told me I think they'd issued 60 checks out of 10,000 workers. Uh, the worker has, they don't even calculate whether that extra money is owed to a farm worker uh, until they're on the bus back to Mexico. And so a worker has to literally complain about it. Has to first know he has those rights, understand that part of the contract, and complain about it and insist that his hours be figured out before he gets on the bus. It's not routinely done. And so what ends up happening is that there will be extended periods of time with no work. Pocas horas y poco dinero, que eso no beneficia, no beneficia a muchos de nosotros que trabajamos y en, en principalmente a mí no me benefició nada. They're paid for the number of buckets they pick. So the pay drops off uh, tremendously when the harvest is over. And often you have, uh, that's where you have a lot of workers looking for work. They, their, their tendency is to, they don't like to be idle. They want to go find work somewhere else. And one of the problems that the workers have with the H-2A program is that they're not allowed to do that. 
They, they can't just leave the farm they're on. If they do, they're at risk of being deported.